several games of this regular season, Coach Adam Bouchard has been stressing to his players that it's a playoff-like atmosphere. Well, tonight, it's no longer a playoff-like atmosphere. It is the playoffs. Welcome to Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. I'm the Green Wave Skate Doctor, Lou Bordeaux. We're here for some Western Mass playoff hockey tonight as our Greenfield Green Wave meet the Drury Blue Devils. Now, so far this season in two regular season tilts, Drury tied Greenfield 2-2 two two at the Collins Moylan Arena, and Greenfield prevailed 2-1 to one in North Adams later in the season. So Greenfield comes into this one 16-2-2 two two on their regular season. Drury 7-6-6, seven, six, six, but that means they've been in 13 hockey games so far. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. We're going to be back with the starting lineups and the national anthem. Ready for the opening face-off in just a moment. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at BobbyCDJService.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Senior. In 1980, the award was named in honor of the late Donald Troy Sr. 
a longtime ice hockey official in Berkshire County, who was also very involved with youth hockey in the Berkshire. The Troy Sportsmanship Award has evolved into one of the most prestigious awards given to a Berkshire County high school student athlete. Players considered for the award possess many of the attributes promoted and dedicated to by Mr. Troy. These include good sportsmanship, team leadership, respect of officials, coaches, teammates, and others, dedication to team, and a true desire to promote the game of ice hockey, which we all love. Tonight's honoree began his hockey career with the Columbus, Ohio youth hockey program, playing at the AAA level as a scorer. Prior to his high school hockey, he also played for the Berkshire Bruins, the Northern Berkshire Black Bears, and the CP Dynamo AAA in Clifton Park, New York. This player is a three-sport varsity student athlete in hockey, football, and lacrosse. He has also played golf and soccer at the high school level. He has been captain of the hockey team the past two years and also captains the Mount Greylock lacrosse team. He is also a member of the National Honor Society, has been a member of Mount Greylock's peer advising team. In the fall of his junior year, he was also selected to participate in the, student, in the sportsmanship summit at Gillette Stadium for the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. This player was also selected for the 411 and the 413 Youth Conference, which offered workshops relating to four tracks, environment, sustainability, the arts, social justice, and business and technology. Finally, a year ago, he selected one of the five boys to represent Mount Greenlock Regional High School at Massachusetts Boys State. After graduation, he will be attending a liberal arts college in a, either economics or pre-medicine. Tonight's honoree also joins an elite list of past Troy Award honorees in Berkshire County Hockey. Names like Neil Eddy, Mike Murphy, Dan Carey, and PJ Murphy. He would, all, he would like to thank past and present coaches who have dedicated their time to the game. He loves and supported him along the board. The coaches include his dad, Kevin Elliott, Derek DeRosha, Dan Kearns, Guy Carity and many others. He would also like to thank his parents, brothers, sister, and foster brother for their support. It gives the Troy family and the Berkshire County Ice Hockey Officials Association great pleasure to introduce the 2018-2019 Donald Troy Senior Sportsmanship Award recipient. Please join us in honoring this year's recipient from Mount Greylock Regional High School in Drury Co-op Hockey, number 14, Toby Ellen. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served our great and the armed forces around the world. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to a show of hands let us know who you are. We thank you for your service to our country. Now we ask all, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. And here we go for some playoff hockey action. We're here at the Olympia in West Springfield. Riley Drew in goal for the Green Wave. Corey Callender in goal for Drury. Green Wave will be skating right to left in their home white sweaters, the higher seed in the playoffs. Drury in their road black skating left to right. Puck cleared deep right off the bat. Kevin Bauman with it. Brian Bauman chips it out of the zone for Greenfield and it's cleared back in. Jacob Bryant takes a look. Puck loose out in front of Riley Drew.
Brother to brother, Kevin O'Brien. Doug Hineski dumps it in deep. Green Wave on a line change. Blue Devils long stretch pass connects. Broken up nicely by Bowie Harris. Kept in at the line by Kelsey Haley. Aiden Roach kicks it out into the neutral zone and he chases. Sam Garvey stripped by Kyle Barnes. Barnes moves in. Action a little physical in the slot there. Backhand pass over to Omar Ukta. Roach bounces off of him. Harris clears it around. Kick saved by Drew. Kicked all the way back down into the Drury zone. Puck is sticked aside by Callender off the Brian Bauman attempt. Jacob Bryant in deep. His shot's blocked. Another one blocked. Cleared in, Puck dies just against the backboards. Cleared out. Will Averill captures. Doug Hineski. Moves in and Callender ties up the puck. Sean O'Sullivan with the puck. Held in at the line by Bauman, chips it back up. Roach in on the forecheck, knocks the puck back behind the goal line. Oh! O'Sullivan oh, leveled behind the goal. Captain Mike McGoldrick, cross ice to Kevin Bauman. Toby Ellingwood sends it the length of the ice for an icing. Toby was awarded a prestigious award. Prior to tonight's game, congratulations to him. 11.06 remain in the first period of play. We've got a scoreless tie so far. Puck deflected out of play on the Jacob Bryant cannon. Brian Bauman in on the draw. Delayed offside. Bryant goes to gather the puck. Unsuccessful. Doug Hineski up to Brian Bauman. Bauman, the one on one attempt, gets deflected wide. He regathers. Another shot deflected over the top. Hineski with it now. Bryant clears it in. Kyle Barnes, a great second effort. Bryant launches one high. Blue Devils come back this way.
Aiden Roach's shot goes wide. Barnes was all alone in front. Callender made the save from point blank range. Two on two the other way, that's gonna be offside. Mitch Andrew is able to put on the brakes at the blue line. Kevin Bauman run over by Corbin Rumble. Sean O'Sullivan sends it up the boards. Rumble tried to screen Riley. Riley got a glove on it. Puck is blocked by Roach. Roach dumps in in favor of a line change. The Goldrick takes a good look now. Doug Hineski finds Jake Croto. Croto chips it in. Shots turned aside by Callender from 40 feet away. Jacob Bryant keeps it in. Croto again. Another shot turned aside. Bauman regathers. Sends it off the glass. Held in at the line by Omar Ukta. Bauman to Haneski. Oh, save! I don't know how that one didn't go in. Puck is loose again. My goodness. That line of Croto, Bauman, and Haneski. What an effort that was. Charges of larceny pending against Corey Callender right now. Drury back the other way. Nice four check by Bowie Harris, keeps the puck out of the zone. Ukta with it. Three attackers on Bowie Harris there. Aiden Roach, he's got Sean O'Sullivan. Kyle Barnes trailing. Kept in by Will Averill. Puck was left laying loose, Brian Bauman collected. Bauman in deep. Averill chips it high. haneski has got it. Takes a look back to Jacob Bryant. Wrist shot deflected by Haneski. Neske to Croto. Croto went to split the D. Didn't get knocked down though. Bauman on the four check. Oh, glove saved by Calder. It missed by about two inches. Green Wave have done everything except put the biscuit in the basket so far. Coach Bouchard changing those lines quickly, keeping the legs fresh out there. Riley Drew at the other end with three big saves. Robbed Brandon Lincoln from short in front of the net.
Very few whistles so far in this first period. We're down to five minutes remaining. This is playoff hockey, friends. Referees wave off icing. Kevin Bauman chases. Dishes up the boards for Kyle Barnes. Bauman banks one off the ankle of Toby Ellingwood. And he regathers behind the goal. Bauman takes a look. Back to O'Sullivan. Leg saved by Callender. Bauman once again. Harris from the point, shot goes wide. Brandon Lincoln stood up at his own blue line by Doug Haneski. Haneski gets it, puts the puck between the feet of the Drury defender. Bauman drops it for Doug. Another save that just barely missed. Puck was loose again. This is unbelievable. Riley Drew. Riley Drew with a big save on the breakaway. Some unbelievable action. 337 remain in this first period of play. Jacob Bryant collects, shoots it around the boards, takes it again, goes back this way. Aiden Roach, three on two developing. Roach dumps in. O'Sullivan had it momentarily behind the net. Feather pass almost stripped by O'Sullivan. But goes back in behind Riley. Sam Garvey with it. Being battled by Will Averill. Jacob Bryant banks it off the boards. Icing waved off. Official decide that could have been played. Delayed offside again. Greenfield had to clear the zone. Again, another deflection prevents Ison going back the other way. Long pass up to Bauman. Over to Haneski. Puck is blocked in front. Two on one. Drew with a big save. Two oh five remain in this first period of playoff action. The Western Mass quarterfinals here at the Olympia in West Springfield. It's a scoreless tie. Harris over to McGoldrick. The captain off the glass. Doug Hineski circles, takes a look, finds Bauman at the blue line. It's a two on two, Croto, save and a beauty. And the rebound just went wide. Goalie's lost his helmet. Jay Croto very nearly had his first varsity goal right there. Terrific save by Callender and we could, or Green Wave could not collect on the rebound. Minute 30 remain in a wild first period of play here at the Olympia in West Springfield. 
Kyle Barnes out to take the draw for the Green Wave. Puck was trapped in the feet like it was a rugby scrum there. Aiden Roach can't collect. Barnes stood up by Rumbolt. Save Drew. O'Sullivan with some open ice finds Roach. Roach turns this into a three on two for Greenfield. Gets in deep, takes a look, has nothing. O'Sullivan! Another save by Callender. Bryant. Territorially, the Green Wave have dominated this first period, but they've got nothing to show for it. 0-0 tie with 29.3 seconds remaining in this first period. Green Wave currently out shooting Drury by a 13 to five margin. It's McGoldrick at the point, over to Bryant. Bryant loses his footing momentarily, gets it in deep. Bryant with a nice four check. Goldrick, quick reaction. That does it for the first period of play here at the Olympia in West Springfield. Western Mass, Division 3A quarterfinal action, the right division. 0-0 between the Green Wave and the Drury Blue Devils. That period was all Green Wave. Goaltender Corey Callender making 13 saves for the Blue Devils. We're going to go down, try and get some words with Coach Adam Bouchard during this intermission. And we'll be back with second period action here at the Olympia. 0-0 zero, zero is the score. We'll be back with Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second period action underway here at the Olympia in West Springfield. 0-0 after one period of play. Riley Drew turning that one aside quickly. Jay Croto. Puck goes all the way back down. Riley makes sure of that one, leaves it for Jacob Bryant. Bryant turns, takes a look. Doug Hineski back to Croto. It's a three on two for the Green Wave. Croto circles. Up to Hineski. Puck 
travels the length of the ice for an icing call. Faceoff going back down to the right side of senior goaltender Corey Collender. Calendar kept the Green Wave off the scoreboard in that first period, as did Riley Drew, kept the Drury Blue Devils off the scoreboard. Caleb Rondo going in deep for Drury. Delisle chipped one over the net. Riley, I think, got a stick on it. Sam Garvey dumping in deep for the Blue Devils. Goldrick looking to bank it out. Successful that time. Puck is loose. O'Sullivan almost collected. Barnes the trailer drops it for O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan tried to sneak one five hole there. Just barely missed it. Face off to the left side of Corey Collender. 13.30 remain in the second period of play. Bauman collects, breaks down the right wing. Tried to go high, just went over the net. Bryant from the far side, same thing. His shot was deflected up into the netting. We're going to have a face-off to the right side of Corey Collender. Collender in his last six games has a goals against average of 3.00. Save percentage, 879. Certainly respectable numbers. Off the draw, Aiden Roach with it. Clears it behind the Drury net. Kevin Bauman couldn't keep it in. Kyle Barnes streaks down the left side. Roach with it. Penetrated the Drury defense, but was denied. Back across the red line, Mikey McGoldrick with it. Long stretch pass. Was stopped for a whistle. Corbin Rumbolt is down with an injury. He appears to be all right. Brian Bauman about to take the draw for the Green Wave. 12-21 remain in the second period of play. <laughs> Jacob Bryant. Calendar gets the pad on it. Puck bounces back all the way down. It's going to be icing. You're watching Green Wave Playoff Hockey on FCAT Sports. So glad to be with you tonight. Another rugby scrum off the faceoff. Rondo circles. McGoldrick goes behind his own cage. 
Hits the brakes, takes a look, finds Aiden Roach. Roachy lost control momentarily. Rumbolt knocked it back in for the Blue Devils. Kyle Barnes with the steal. Puck bounces over McGoldrick's stick. A little bit of sloppy play both ways right there. Puck actually went off one of the roof girders here inside rink one at the Olympia. 11.05 remain in the second period of play. It's a scoreless tie. Face off to the right side of goaltender Riley Drew. Bauman chipped the draw forward. It went the length of the ice. No icing on that one. Haneski down there. Manhandled. Ukta loses control for, for Drury. Averill up to Bauman. Bauman across the blue line. Low shot just went wide. I did speak to Coach Adam Bouchard during the first intermission. And he was certainly appreciative of his squad's effort in that first period of play. Did say that it's important for the squad to keep getting pucks to the net. Good things will happen. I think you've got to believe him there. All the way around. Icing. Where we had very few whistles in the first period of play. There's been quite a few here in the second so far. We've got 9.46 remaining. A scoreless tie. Kyle Barnes wins the draw. Sean O'Sullivan against the boards, far side. Jacob Bryant from the point, moves in. Calendar equal to the task on that one. Barnes wins the draw over to Roach. Roachy circles. Looking for an opening, loses control. Puck breaks free, Bowie Harris at the red line. Jacob Brandt chips one off the glass. Nice save, Calendar. O'Sullivan in the high slide had a nice low shot. Calendar turned to the side. Harris can't keep it in. Bryant, meanwhile, back this way. Long shot by Toby Ellingwood, covered by Riley Drew, and we're going to have a face-off to Riley's left. Eight forty remain in the second period of play. Thank you so much for watching Green Wave playoff hockey here on FCAT Sports. Brian Bauman collects, turns on the Jets. Kelsey Haley. 
Dumps in for Drury. Two on one the other way now. Off the iron. Oh, Marekta hit the post. Riley Drew followed up with a nice save. A two on one developed. We've seen Marc Andre Fleury love his goal posts after, after a puck hits the post. Next whistle, you might see Riley doing that. Suddenly, Green Waver on their heels. Bauman goes for the long clearing attempt, was intercepted at the blue line. No icing on that one, of course. Kevin Bauman now in. Chips it up the boards for Haneski. Tenacious forechecking by the Blue Devils here. Vineski from a near impossible angle, and it's in! Green Wave around the board! <laughs> Doug Haneski was down near the goal line. Centered one out, goaltender Corey Callender went down, looked like he had it under his pads, and Kyle Barnes finished the play. Wave, take a 1-0 lead. Buck is free, Roach. Oh, what a glove save by Callender. Well, the official announcement they gave the assist on that goal to Aiden Roach. I certainly saw Doug Haneski dig it out of the corner. So we'll double check on that later on. Meanwhile, the puck goes the length of the ice for another icing call. Face off coming back down to the left side of Corey Callender. Callender's been terrific tonight for the Blue Devils. Green Wave, however, with a 1 0 lead. 5.46 to go in the second period of play. Kevin Bauman. Drew with a big save. Croto long stretch pass. That's not going to work out. Face off back to the left side of Green Wave goaltender Riley Drew. Cam Rice up to Dougie Haneski. Puck bounces freely. 
Paneski, and there goes Cam. Plays offside at the Drury Blue Line. Captain Mikey McGoldrick caught the long pass in his shin pads but carried it back into the zone. We've got 450 remaining in the second period of play. Green Wave lead this one 1-0. One O'Sullivan set Rochi up nicely. Just missed the net. Kyle Barnes, the human pinball there. Gets the puck back to Harris. Harris. Shot sticked aside by Callender. Little carnage in the corner. off to the right side of Corey Callender. Paneski with it. Wrist shot saved by Callender. He's got the blocker on it. McGoldrick from the point, and it's in! Doug Haneski got his stick on that one. It's two nothing, green wave. Like Coach Bouchard said, you keep getting the pucks to the net, good things are going to happen. Two second period goals by the green wave. Goldrick once again from the point. Brian Bauman with it. Sends it back down to Doug Haneski. Doug circles. Found Jacob Bryant in the slot. Oh, man. Somehow Calendar got a skate on it. Three and a half to go in the second period of play. 2-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Corbin Rumbold turned on the Jets there. There goes Bauman. He's in alone. Oh, just went wide. Follows through and missed the net again. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Bauman from the blue line. Aiden Roach, another save by Callender. Drury, all they can do is clear the puck the length of the ice for an icing call. Bauman wins the draw, it's back to Aiden Roach. Oh, excuse me, that was Kyle Barnes on the draw. Barnes battling along the half wall. Puck stalemated, finally goes behind the goal line, that's John O'Sullivan. Circles. Back to Barnes. Aiden Roach now circles. 
After a quick flurry by Drury, Green Wave have just taken the, taken the momentum right away. Kelsey Haley, all she can do is dump it deep. Drew takes matters into his own hands. Puck didn't quite clear the zone. Kevin Bauman on it. Out of the zone now, minute and a half to go in the second period. Harris off the glass. O'Sullivan clears it into the neutral zone. Back behind Riley Drew. Paneski drops it for Bauman. Bauman's off to the races. Oh, he shoots and scores! Brian Bauman roofed it. What a goal! Doug Hineski breaks down. Oh, he's manhandled. That's going to be the first penalty of the game. Back to Haneski. Bryant's got it. Kevin Bauman in deep. Playing catch with Kyle Barnes. Back to Kevin Bauman again. Can't maintain control and Drury clears it down the length of the ice. Bauman with three, two, one. Two periods of play are in the books. Here in the Western Mass quarterfinals. Greenfield with a dominant performance thus far. Put three on the board in the second period of play. Take a three nothing lead into the locker room. We'll be back with third period action right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business, software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. 
across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Welcome back to the Olympia in West Springfield. I'm the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, with you. Western Mass quarterfinal playoff action between the Greenfield Green Wave and the Drury Blue Devils. Ready for third period action. Greenfield on top, 3-0 with three big second period goals. Greenfield aggressive right off the bat in this third period of play. Brian Bauman. You've heard his name a lot tonight. You've heard his name a lot all season. 46 points on the regular season for the junior. Save calendar. Bauman dished across to Jacob Bryant. Unleashed that low, hard clapper. You remember Drury is still shorthanded. No icing on that clearing attempt. Fifteen seconds remain on the Greenfield power play. Sean O'Sullivan in deep. Centered it nicely. Kyle Barnes had his stick obstructed a little bit. Couldn't get the good, the good composite on that one. Mitch Andrews on the far side. Sends Bowie Harris back down into his zone. Mikey McGoldrick lost an edge. There was almost a somber mood as the Blue Devils came back out onto the ice for this third period of play. McGoldrick with a nice defensive play there. Rondo through traffic. Riley Drew turns that one aside. O'Sullivan lost, regathered, circles. Harris clears in from the red line. Doug Hineski with it. Vineski once again driving Rondo crazy behind the goal line. Rondo had his hands all over him, no call. Callender uses the leg pad to steer that one to the corner. Corbin Runbolt sent one in from 60 feet away that Riley just gloved. Flips it over onto the backside of his trapper. Hands it off to the official. Faceoff's going to be to Riley's left side. We've got 12-17 remaining in the second period of play. Third period, excuse me. Time flies when you're having fun. Doug Hineski with a nice block there. Centering attempt was thwarted by Riley Drew. Puck comes back this way. Jake Croto carried. John O'Sullivan regathers and recalibrates. Drops the puck for Kyle Barnes. <laughs> Terrific forecheck by Kyle Barnes. Hayden Roach right there. <laughs> Ellingwood dumps deep for the Blue Devils. O'Sullivan stripped, puck goes wide. 
10.45 to go in the third period of play. 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Ukta behind the net for the Blue Devils. Cross ice pass from O'Sullivan over to Aiden Roach. Roach cuts in. Kineski ties the puck up behind the goal line. Harris with a drive from the blue line. Went wide. Puck quickly bounces back. It's two on one the other way. Ukta just whacks his stick on the ice trying to make Harris make a mistake. No such luck. Comes back this way. Brian Bauman again. This develops into a three on two. Nice blocker saved by Callender. Puck kept in by Harris. Kineski finds Bauman in the high slot. Sam Garvey just got in the way, though. Jacob Bryant got one off from the blue line. Callender stick that up over the cage. Save Callender on a Doug Hineski shot. Kevin Bauman again dumps it deep. Quick changes by the Green Wave. Long icing attempt. Was on Riley. Riley got the body in front of that. 8.43 to go in the second period, third period of play. I don't know why I keep saying the second period. Maybe because I enjoyed those three goals so much. Kyle Barnes, Doug Hineski, and Brian Bauman staking the Green Wave to a 3-0 lead. Those goals all coming in the second period of play. Puck breaks free. It's Kyle Barnes. Cuts in. Just missed. Kevin Bauman. Risking life and limb to keep that one in. Did so. Okay, Lebrando going coast to coast. Riley got the pillow on that one. Kicked it aside nicely. Puck is free. Deflected over the net. 7.45 to go in the third period of play. Aiden Roach has it. Roach at full speed. Chipped up by O'Sullivan. Goes the length of the ice for an icing call. 7.29 to go in the third period of play. Kineski speeding through the neutral zone. Jake Croto in to help. Louis Harris followed up. Goldrick takes a look, changes his mind. Brian Bauman, he's in all alone. He shoots and scores. That's Brian Bauman's second goal of the night. 
stakes Greenfield to a 4-0 lead with 6.42 remaining. Bauman kept that one low on the ice. Couldn't quite see from my vantage point. Going back the other way right off the faceoff. Drury has to be in desperation mode here. Six and a half to go. Oh, Riley Drew, what a save. Toby Ellingwood was in the high slot, unmarked. Got a terrific one-timer off. Riley kicked it aside, followed up with a couple more saves. Ellingwood again can't handle that pass. As I said, Drury has got to be in desperation mode right now. Riley gets the glove on it, and the faceoff is to Riley's left side. Will Averill. Puck comes up to Aiden Roach. Roach stops and goes with it. Puck is in deep. Nice centering attempt, nobody home. Aiden Roach on the nice forecheck strips the puck. He takes a long look before shooting wide and high. Mitch Andrews dumping deep, four and a half to go in the third period of play. Nice pad saved by Drew. Cleared out by Jacob Bryant. Next round of playoffs will be this coming Saturday at 1 p.m. here at the Olympia in West Springfield. That one goes the length of the ice for an icing call. 3.50 to go in the third period of play. If you've been tuned into our Green Wave hockey telecasts this season, you're familiar with the Belchertown Orioles. They're going to be competing with the Chicopee Pacers coming up right after this game, live in the Olympia. Sorry, not on FCAT Sports. But then the two winners will meet right here at the Olympia Saturday at 1 o'clock. Jacob Bryant from 80 feet shoots it wide. Doug Haneski in deep with it. Sends it back in, Brian Bauman. Bauman collects. Bauman takes a long look. Finally takes a slap shot into the shin pads of Jason Delisle. Jay Croto chips back to Bauman. Bryant just dumps it into the corner. Jay Croto behind his own net. Long clearing attempt didn't work out. 
goes for another icing. Faceoff coming back to the left side of goaltender Riley Drew. 2.39 remain in the third period of play. Shots on goal so far, Greenfield 29, Drury 17. Sean O'Sullivan collects, carries it behind his own net. Rondo kept it in at the blue line. Long shot steered aside by Drew one more time. Another save by Riley. And Drury's on the board. Green Wave stopped moving their feet for a moment. Gave Drury the opportunity to put the biscuit in the basket. It's a four to one hockey game. Got a timeout in the action, 2.08 to go in the third period. And Drury's 32nd timeout has elapsed. You're talking about the snack bar offerings at the Olympia. Some fabulous smelling chicken tenders made their way past here. We were told that uh, the payoff wasn't quite there. Jacob Bryant chips up for Kyle Barnes. It's Corbin Rumble who got the Blue Devils on the board. 12.52 of the third period. Kyle Barnes chases. Nice four check by Haneski gets the puck back down behind the Drury net. Intercepted by Brian Bauman. Puck goes the length of the ice. Riley holds this one for Kevin Bauman. Puck goes all the way down for an icing call. Minute three to remain. A minute three remain here in the third period of play. Drury has pulled their goaltender. So they'll have six attackers out. Looking to climb a three goal mountain here in the last minute three. Greenfield counters with Kevin Bauman, Kyle Barnes, Doug Hineski, Brian Bauman, and Jacob Bryant. Bauman sends it, that's gonna be another icing. I think the Green Wave are content to do that at this point. Every icing is gonna kill about eight or 10 seconds off of the scoreboard clock. Bauman on the draw. Ukta behind the net, centers, and it's in. Referee signals it's a goal. With 46.8 seconds, this is down to a two goal margin. Calendar back in the net for Drury, as long as the puck is in the general vicinity of center ice. 
There goes Callender. Doug Haneski, the length of the ice. It's in! Doug Haneski hits the empty net from 130 feet away. Giving Greenfield the 5-2 lead with 29 seconds remaining. Pearl Petey on the draw. Matt Wilhite clears the zone. Derek Lenoy's in pursuit. Final five seconds. We're going to be hearing some Taylor Swift on the bus back to Greenfield tonight, people. Greenfield advances to the semifinals with a 5-2 win. Well, one of my other jobs, I'm one of the founders of the Springfield Hockey Heritage Society, and for many years, Bill Haley in the Comets, shake, rattle, and roll. Sounded after many a Springfield victory, most notably after some Calder Cup championships. Green Wave aren't to that point yet, but they will be playing again this Saturday at 1 o'clock right here at the Olympia. We'll be back to wrap up the goals in just a moment here on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. Welcome back to the Olympian West Springfield State back to the Port Elgar. Tonight we saw the Green Wave win their quarterfinal playoff game 5-2 over the Green Blue Devils. Started out very defensively, a, a scoreless first period, even though know, the Green Wave controlled play outshot three, 13 to 5 in that first stanza. Second period, we saw the score get underway. Uh, early on, Kyle Barnes shot a nice centering pass. Uh, eight points got the assist on that one. It was uh, deep in the corner with it. State Green Wave to a 1 0 lead. A minute and a half later, Duncan Eskey scored the second Green Wave goal on assists from Mikey McGoldrick and Brian Bauer. Late in the second period, Brian Bauer broke through, had a breakaway, and he moved 
right over the shoulder of goaltender Corey Gallagher on the two levels. Gallagher played a terrific game, but in the end, as Coach Adam Bouchard has preached to the truth so many times, cuts to the net, and tonight it paid off. In the third period, with a 3-0 lead in the back pockets, Brian Baumann again finished off a nice pass to Mikey McGoldrick, getting the green wave of 4-0 lead. Curry got on the board with just 2.08 remaining. Some would say that it was a foregone conclusion at that point, but... Corbin Rumble got the Blue Devils on the board, made it a 4-1 game. Drew pulled their goaltender, and it worked out in their favor, although with a three-goal deficit, it's really difficult to come back and come back with three goals, but you got to do one at a time, and they did just that with 46.8 seconds remaining on the clock. Made it a 4-2 hockey game, and then Shortly thereafter, 29 seconds remaining, Doug Mineski connected, collected the puck in front of the Greenfield bench and shot in the length of the ice into the empty net, sealing the deal with a 5-2 victory for the Green Wave. Check your local listings. So for the entire crew of FCAT Sports, my spotter Josh McStubbs, and the statisticians far and wide, we thank you all. Thanks for tuning in. And good night, everybody.